Hello, hello, hello. My name is Finston, and I'm here to bring you another Terraria tutorial. Today we'll be covering how to get and install the Terraria 6 mod, uh, which is a standalone mod that adds RPG elements to the game. I will be leaving a link down below in the description to get to the official form uh, for the Terraria 6 mod. Uh, this is it here. Basically all you need to do is scroll down until you see the FAQ, and then just above that is a link to the actual mod itself. Uh, you can go and click that and download it. Once you have downloaded it, then you're going to want to go ahead and go to where Terraria is, is saved. Basically, that's going to be in your, you know, in your computer under probably your C drive, uh, under your program files x86, your Steam, your Steam apps, Common, and Terraria. Once inside the Terraria folder, you're going to want to go ahead and go to wherever you had saved your file. For me, it was on my desktop. And here is my the zip basically that got downloaded. You're going to want to go ahead and open that zip file and basically grab the, the three files that are in here. And you're going to want to go ahead and drag them directly into your Terraria folder and let them go. I'm not going to actually do it because I already have them in there and I don't want to mess anything up on my installation. But after you're done with that, basically all you have to do is uh, double click your Terraria 6 and let it load. And while it's loading, uh, I do want to let you know that Terraria does save its files, its world files, character files, all that stuff in a separate place from your your normal Terraria installation. So you don't have to worry about overriding that or messing anything up there. Uh, should interfere at all. If you're worried about it, definitely do a backup on your on your Terraria data. Also, you can right click on your Terraria6.exe and make a shortcut of it so you can put it on your desktop so it's easier to find and so you can play it a lot easier later on. If for some reason the Terraria6.exe does not open, you may need to use Game Launcher, which I will leave a, a link in the description below as well. Uh, it'll have instructions on how to use that. But if you guys have any other questions about anything on the, on installation, definitely leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer it. So once you're in game, uh, you have a character already here. We're not going to mess with that right now. But basically when you uh, create a new character, the things that have changed is basically you have this little box over to the left. And if you click on the name, like the human there, you can actually cycle through all the different races that are available in Intraria at the moment. And uh, once you select one, let's do a random one here. Uh, when I'm at fenced in for you guys. We can go and create that. I have a little test world here for us. And once we're inside the game, there's a few things that have been changed. Uh, right away, you'll notice that the top right hand corner, your HP and MP have been changed. And also down in the bottom left corner, you will see that there is a, a little box that shows basically your experience. You have uh, player experience and then you have class experience. Uh, then there is also like your stats you can open up here. Now, when you open up your actual menu, like you normally do down in the bottom, center here you will see that there is a spot for your or basically to add your add to new stats when you level up uh, you also have like stuff for your class so you can learn new abilities under the class you can also drag the abilities up from here up into your little hotbar here and those are bound to your f1 through f4 keys um, you also have like quests and you can uh, click on them to cancel them and whatever you need to do other than that guys that's pretty much in terraria and how to install it have fun and i hope you guys enjoy the mod it's definitely one of my favorite mods if you have any other questions or comments, so leave them in the comments below again. And as always, thanks for watching.